Well, an electricity transmission system is a vital infrastructure. Indeed, in a country like ours, imagine the consequences of a widespread and long duration failure. Public transportation, water distribution, hospitals, all kinds of services will be locked. Transmission system operators have an important duty to prepare for the consequences of climate change. That starts with stress tests of robustness uh, in front of all kinds of climatic hazards. Yes, sir, but climatic hazards are multifactorial. How to model that into our simulation? Yes, they are multifactorial. There are direct damage on the infrastructure. There are consequences of services necessary to network operations, such as telecommunication. And there are the consequences on the demand supply balance and so on. And well, it's very complex, but simulation is a powerful tool to study such a complex system. Yeah. Besides, climatic hazard will vary over time and the amplitude of climate change. Stress scenarios need to be defined. Do we want to be robust to an extreme flood by 2050 or a combination of a drought and a heat wave by 2035? This is key in the adaptation of our network and our maintenance policy. This is very important.